So this video is going to show you how to use the remainder and factor theorems uh, to completely factor uh, polynomials, and in this case, solve uh, equations when you set these polynomials equal to zero. Okay. In each of these examples, you're going to be given one of the zeros, which will allow you to, uh, to use the synthetic division. Okay. So let's look at example number one. We've got a, a pretty simple quadratic uh, here. We've got x squared minus 3x minus 10, which could easily be factored. Uh, so we're going to start with a couple examples here that can easily be factored based on things you've learned previously. But we do want to show you how to use the factor theorem to completely factor uh, this uh, quadratic and then solve it to find the two zeros that are going to occur. Now again, you're going to be given one of the zeros in this process to kind of get you started. All right, so um, we know here f of 5 equals 0. So 5 is a 0 of this polynomial, okay? We want to identify the factors. This Now this is going to give us 1. We'll talk about that a little later on, but we want to find the second one, okay? So we want to take our 0. We're going to do synthetic division. Okay, coefficient of x squared is 1, coefficient of x is negative 3, and the constant is negative 10. Okay, so let's go through the, the synthetic division process. We're going to bring down the 1. Okay, we're going to multiply 5 times 1. We're going to add negative 3 and 5. Okay, we're going to multiply 5 times 2. And that shows you that f of 5 truly does equal 0. Remember, because we got a remainder here of 0. So what that tells us is, x minus 5 is going to be one of my factors. If 5 is a 0, then x minus 5 is a factor. This, these two numbers right here give me the coefficients of the second factor. So this would be the coefficient of x, and then this would be the constant. They're both positive, so what that means is x plus 2 is the other factor. Okay? So again, this 0 gives us the first factor of x minus 5. The division gives us the second factor of x plus 2. Okay, so my two zeros here are 5 and negative 2. Okay, both those factors occur once, so they both have a multiplicity of 1. So if you refer back to the videos on graphing polynomials, you've got the two zeros, you've got the multiplicity of each of those zeros. You can use the other things we've talked about with graphing polynomials to graph this function. Okay, now let's move to example 2. Again, this is a pretty simple quadratic that you could factor without much work, but we still want to kind of use this to help us learn the process, okay? And this one, we're given that f of negative 4 equals 0. So when we go through the process, we should get a 0 here as our remainder. We're going to use this to find the second factor, okay? If negative 4 is a 0, that means x plus 4 is one of our factors. And we're going to get the second factor when we find our quotient here, okay? So, bring down the 1, multiply the negative 4 times the 1, add the 9 and the negative 4, multiply the negative 4 times 5, and then add the 20 and the negative 20. So again, we get a remainder of 0, which we should have gotten, okay? We said our first factor was x plus 4, based on negative 4 being a 0. My second factor comes from these two values. This is the coefficient of x, this is the constant, they're both positive. So x plus 5 is my second factor. So the complete factorization is going to be x plus 4, x plus 5. So that means negative 4 and negative 5 are the zeros of the function. Notice each of these factors only occur one time, so they have a multiplicity of 1. Okay. Again, you've got the zeros, you have their multiplicities. You can use the other things we learned when we were graphing polynomials to help you graph this.